Make sure to check out my channel for more videos just like this. What is going on people? It's your boy Mr. Bucket List and here we are today in Ultra Rios, Jamaica where I'll be doing a full review of different excursions that you can do either through a cruise ship or on your own when you come to this port. Now before we get started, for those who aren't familiar with my content, this is going to be a layout of the video. Alright, so if you are doing this through a cruise ship, the first thing you're going to do is meet up in the morning around, I believe around 8.15 in the main theater. Not to mention, if you get it through the cruise ship, you also get priority to some barking as well. So you'll be the first one off the ship. Now, this is not a tender port, but we actually did dock in Falmouth, Jamaica, and then we had to take a bus ride over to Ocho Rios. But just think, I mean, you're going to get off the ship, you'll have the shopping area. I recommend don't necessarily go to the shopping area until you get done with your excursion, because you'll have plenty of time to shop afterwards. And then once you make it to the end, you'll get to this crowded area. Just make sure you have your ticket out so you can make sure that you're in the right line. And then once you get in the line, as far as the bus itself, I believe we had maybe about 15 to 20 people. So it actually wasn't as crowded as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot more, but it was actually a decent amount of people. Now, as far as the ride itself, it is about 45 minutes each way. So just be prepared. Um, with that said, I mean, they do take you through the good and the bad of Jamaica. So you're not going to see some disney luxury only type areas. It is going to be a lot of different areas. And some people may not like it. Some people may love it. For me, it was nice to see a little bit of everything. Um, and then as far as the ride itself, you do have a couple of stops. Like, for example, we did stop at this naturally flowing river that apparently has some of the purest waters in the area itself. And then you have a tour guide. Um, I can't remember what her name was, but she was actually really good. Um, she had a lot of different information about little things. And she also passed around like different Jamaica fruit and Jamaica money, little examples. And then she also did this. She had us singing together, even though a lot of people didn't join in, but it was still nice. Take a listen. Now, with that said, that does bring me to my first tip, which is to remember who your tour guide is. Um, now, I know I just said I don't remember what her name is, but at the same time, I didn't remember what she looks like. Um, the reason why that's so crucial is a lot of the tour people had the same outfits on, and there's maybe maybe 10, 20 of them. It's a lot of them out there. So if you forget who they look like, you're going to be lost. You're going to be scared. Just don't do it, especially not in Jamaica. Now let's pull on in to Mystic Mountain. All right. So now that we're at Mystic Mountain, first off, you can see how beautiful this place is. Um, apparently it's all man-made, but it is beautiful regardless. And this is also the home of the Jamaica bobsled, or bobsled Jamaica, like they like to call it, um, which is actually pretty fun. And so this is one of the things I'm going to be showing in the video. Also, they have different zip lining, and they also have ATV riding as well here. And then they have, like, some rock climbing walls. It's a bunch of different things. And so, I mean, if you want to just have a little place to take your family, this is definitely one of the places to go to, uh, Mystic Mountain. Now to get to the top of Mystic Mountain, there is this thing called the Sky Explorer, and this is included in your ticket as long as you get a chance to go to Mystic Mountain. Um, it's eco-friendly and it has some beautiful views. So, I mean, you're going to see basically views of the top of the mountain and then also the actual beach slash ocean as well. So, I mean, it's just a beautiful little area. And while riding it, I happened to make a new friend on this as well, who happened to also be a part of the Norwegian solo program. So as solo travelers, we are out here in numbers. Now, after you get done riding the Sky Explorer, you head straight on into the basically the main area of Mystic Mountain. Now, around this area, you have different shops, souvenirs, um, different information about the bobsled team. 
But the main thing you want to do is scan your little armband. So you have a little armband that you have to scan. Make sure you scan this everywhere you go. Now I do have a tip. You want to do your exploring after you ride the bobsled or the zip line if you pay for those excursions because the lines get filled really, really quick. So make sure you do those first and then once you want to explore, do that after you're done doing all your main things. Another tip, make sure you bring some cash with you. You don't want to have your card decline or not be able to buy souvenirs because they only take cash. Just make sure you bring cash with you. They do take American currency, so that's not a big issue. And after putting your stuff in the locker and listening to some Jamaican music, it's time to head to the Jamaican bobsled. Now, as far as this bobsled, it does either hold one or two people. Tip, make sure to bring a mounted action camera. If you want to take a full video of the camera, you cannot hold a cell phone. You have to have it strapped to your body. So make sure to bring one of those. Now I did go ahead and record a full video of this actual ride, so if you want to check that out, I have a separate link for it, but here's a small snippet right here. Now it does basically go downhill and then you have this nice little scenic uphill ride as well, which is actually really, really cool. And then once you're done with that, like most theme parks, you exit through a gift shop. Now I do want to give a quick shout out to this older man that helped me. Um, I was walking around the middle of the little plaza area looking kind of lost and there was this guy that said, hey, if you want to get a, a good view, head up those steps into the left over there. And so I didn't know what he was talking about, but I was like, okay, I'll try it out and see what happens. And then this is the view I end up getting. So just a quick tip. I mean, not everyone out there is trying to scam you. Some people truly do want to have you help you to have a good experience. And for my case, this is definitely what happened. All right, so afterwards, of course, to get back down, you have to ride the Sky Explorer one more time. So me and my homegirl end up going back down. And then once you make it to the end, they actually have a little place where you can buy your pictures at. Now, I bought my pictures at the top of the mountain, but you can also buy at the bottom as well. And I mean, they're fairly decently priced for a theme park standard. And then at the very end, they also have vendors as well that try to sell you local Jamaican things. Um, they're really struggling out there, and I can only imagine now with this whole virus. So definitely, I mean, if, 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 you, if you feel like you want to buy something, definitely try to help them out. Now on to my summary and rating. Now right here, we have a quick summary of Mystic Mountain. As far as my rating, this is definitely a must-do. Now we have a quick ride that's about five minutes away. We're heading to Dunn's Rivers Falls. I have some things to say about Dunn's Rivers Falls, but let me first start with the positive. As you can see, this place was pretty empty. Um, now we got there, I believe it was maybe about, uh, who knows, maybe about one in the afternoon. And this is how empty the place was. I mean, that is a positive. This place was not that busy. And then two, the scenery is also really nice. Um, like the last place we were at, this place is also done really well as, as well. Uh, Jamaica just in, in general has some really nice locales if you're in the right area. Another cool thing was uh, me and my homegirl also met some other people that was around our age. So it was actually like a group of us, I guess you want to call millennials since that's the big joke. Um, we were all hanging out and it was actually a really good time. They were from DC. She lives in Ohio. Um, it was just a really cool time. Now, one tip I do have for this place is make sure you grab a locker. What we did was we bought a, a standard size locker and it was able to fit five different people's stuff inside. So definitely grab a locker. It's only $10 and they're not that expensive. 
And then two, also make sure you have water shoes. Now I bought mine on Amazon because I want to be able to pick my own color, but you can also buy them from the place as well. They're about $5 if you buy on, on location, but you need water shoes for this experience. Now, as far as this one, so this one was a little bit more crowded than Mystic Mountain. Um, we were still in our group of about 15 to 20 people, but there were a lot of other groups of 15 to 20 people, about four or five of them. So, I mean, they said this place gets extremely packed and I believe it because there was quite a few groups when we were there. So again, just make sure you keep your eyes on whoever your operator is at the time period and just don't lose track of your team. With that said, wow, this place was amazing. Now, if you don't want to go all the way to Jamaica to see something like this, there is places like this in Florida that I've done videos on, so make sure to check those out. I'll leave a description in the box below. Now this brings me to my biggest negative, so warning. You see that guy right there in the red shirt with holding the camera? So I paid this guy $40 for him to send me an emailed copy of our entire video, and to this day I have not received that email. Not to mention I have a receipt and I even emailed the people literally right away saying, hey, what's going on? No reply whatsoever when he told me it was going to be between 24 to 48 hours. So just beware, if you want to buy a video from this place, make sure you get the DVD and make sure they give it to you right away because they will steal your money. Other than that, I really enjoyed the place as, as a whole. I mean, the people I was with, they were nice and funny. Homegirl was cool. It was just a really good time. I just was really upset that those guys stole my money like that. They really didn't need to. With that said, let's head to the summary and the rating. Here's a quick summary of everything I just talked about. As far as my rating, I would say maybe try it out and just be careful. Like I said, that guy literally stole $40 in cash from me and there's nothing I can do about it. And it just, it sucks. People, if you are watching this video and you saw the snippet, maybe send them an email and say, hey, you all stole from Mr. Bucket List. What's going on? He's really trying to help the company. So just kind of help me out if you can. If not, don't worry about it. But yeah, just be careful. And that's pretty much it. So that was day one of my excursions. I have a lot more videos coming up, including Cosmel, where I went to the Mayan ruins, and then also the Cayman Islands when I did Stingray City and Starfish Bay. And so I have a bunch of different videos coming up. Plus, I'm gonna leave a bunch of links in the description of the videos I've already done, ship tours, the spa, you name it, it's gonna be in there. So again, thank you for my current subscribers. Thank you for my new subscribers. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it helps out. And until then, I'll see you all next time. Peace. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please check out my channel for more videos just like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.